Hello classmates, thank you so much for reviewing my website. Today I'm going to talk about my experiences as a web designer. This is actually the first time that I've built a website. The part that I found more difficult was pretty much starting because it's something I had put off a little. I'm like, oh, it sounds too hard. Even though I had done the interactive assessment and it seemed easy, I'm like, maybe he's just making it seem easier than it actually is. But apparently creating a website is not that hard anymore. You don't have to be a developer. But it's kind of funny because it was developed by web developers for non-web developers. Interesting. So in all in all, it wasn't that hard. It was just starting, you know, pushing myself to start and do something. So I guess the thing that I'm proud of the most is the fact that I managed to have a site open. I know it sounds silly, but like, I don't think I've ever done that before. And the lessons I learned were Lessons that I learned were that I needed to start creating more creative content because it's easy to redirect to different sites that have stuff already. So the only way I can think of retwisting it to make it seem original is that if I write a comment or like like or retweet. But like as for my original website, it might be a little bit quiet. So I need to find a way to fill it with articles that are already written or write my own articles, which will be too time consuming in my opinion. And in terms of accessibility, like people with visual impairments, um, my website is very bright because it's green. So the only thing they can do is play with the light settings on their computer. But all in all, I don't think it should be too hard to read. And anyone in the world can access it and understand it if they understand English. There's also a Google option, I believe. If you're using Chrome, would you like to translate this page? I don't know how well it translates. But that's it.